Welcome back here at Center Court with Pete Sampras. An amazing record of uh, 14 wins, four defeats in Grand Slam finals. Uh, that that championship battle where it's all about you've come through. And I, let's talk about 2002 when when things ended and the, the culmination, of course, at the U.S. Open. But how the year began. Well, if you can take us back through, and and we'll go with Wimbledon, and and the feeling you had there and the uncertainty of things. I Wimbledon was probably one of my biggest low points in my career. It. Um, it's going through a lot of changes. I was working with a new coach, Jose Higueras, and it wasn't really working out. I needed a little more stability with that, and he wasn't able to travel a ton. So I, I it kind of, it all accumulated for the year, and I went out on court two against Basel. That's George, George Basel. George Basel, and wasn't very confident. And you put me out, out there in that court two, you know, is I'm more vulnerable to, you know, to an upset. Is that kind of a kind of an insult a little bit uh, for a guy? Yeah, for a guy that's won a few times, I figured I could get on one of the show courts, but but that being said, it's still a tennis court. It's the same dimension. So I, who I, makes I, that decision on something like that? Too? That's Alan Mills, who uh, is a friend of mine, okay. and, and uh, but he decided to do that, and or the committee, or the Wimbledon committee, and that's, you know, that's the way it went. You know, I've been on court two before, and when I was winning, I was, wasn't complaining then, but I, you know, Nice to be back in a comfortable environment. Anyway, so went out, played a poor match. I mean, it was really not the type of tennis I play at Wimbledon, and got home from that trip and just really was struggling. You know, really down, a little bit depressed. Did retirement come into it? It, it crossed my mind, but I was just people were asking me about it, and I, okay. whenever they asked me, I start thinking about it, and I start believing some of these things I was hearing and and reading, and so I. Um, that was a low point. You know, I came home and I was just, you know, everyone was blaming my wife and it was a burden on my marriage and it wasn't um, wasn't a great time. Yeah. And so what turned it around? Well, I I started working with Paul and again. Yeah, again. I called him up and I said, you know, I'm a bit of a pickle here and, and Now was there a difference in your physical game and your and your mindset at this point in terms of I mean, did you feel physically things not being where they were? Well, Physically, I, you know, you get a little older, you, you don't recover as well. You okay. play a tough match, you wake up a little sore, and it's, it is tougher as you get older. Don't, don't get me wrong. Mentally, I felt like I, week in, week out, I didn't have that kind of burning desire, but I wanted to win another major. That okay. was kind of keeping me, right. keeping me going, and that was my goal. And I remember, it was funny, I was playing in Schenectady, and I told everyone I thought I could win it. And I remember a couple of media people just kind of smirked or laughed, and I and I remembered it, you know. And I just more motivation. Well, not, I don't say more motivation. I just I look back at it now and how everyone thought I was I was really washed up. Um, everybody. Uh, I didn't. I was always a big fan. In fact, <laughs> no, I, I predicted. No, I'm kidding. I um, didn't. But but you but you yourself, at least based on what we saw that year, there were doubts. Washed absolutely. up is a harsh word, but not the champion that mm -hmm. Pete Sampras always was. Right. I think I, that's how people felt. Yeah, and it's just hard to be at that bar year in year yeah, out. Yeah. But, Went into the Open and uh, seated 17. I always felt like I had the game to get hot and play well and win. Right. And I had the confidence. I've been there a ton. Um, now, there, there, remember, the, the rain shortened things. And then, again, the age factor came up. Sure. Wear and tear, playing a lot of matches in a short time. You didn't seem phased by that. You almost seemed... I, think, uh, I seemed okay with it. Yeah. I, uh, I think it was five matches in seven days yeah. or something like that. And it was that's a lot of work, a lot of uh, stress on the body. And I... You know, got through some good good matches early on. Played a tough match against Rizetsky and and um, got through that match. And then the next match was Haas, was a tough match. And then um, then Roddick was the match that kind of helped me physically because it was a pretty easy match uh, physically. And I had a few days off before the weekend. And Anacone said, "Use your your physical." Yeah. Right? Well, he just said, "Show the crowd that you're enjoying this." You know, use them to help you. And um, so I, you know, then change into a wild man but I just showed a little more, more emotion and so went into the weekend against Shalkin and you know playing okay and got through that match and then really played the best tennis in many years against Agassi. Your feeling going into that match I mean at that point you probably were as confident. Very confident and felt felt great felt like I was playing just fine and uh, I've always enjoyed playing Andre I mean I don't right. know what it is but I always seem like I match up pretty well and Walking out on the center court, I mean, it was electric. I mean, it was really, the crowd was into it. Um, two older guys, two great rivals that uh, were playing each other, and went out and, and we let it go. And I, uh, you know, was feeling a little yeah, bit emotional. tired at the end. Yeah, emotional. I mean, it was, uh, you know, won the first couple sets, lost the third. The crowd went nuts in the yeah. third, and I was like, ooh, i got to struggle <laughs> in my hands. And um, I was starting to feel a little bit tired at the end of the fourth, and 
hit a couple of shots and serve him for the match, and and it just all happened within five minutes. And, Joy, and you mentioned, you know, your wife, Bridget, before through the tough times. She was there to share it with you, and yeah. the, the special, the visual, you could feel uh, the, the connection between well, you two. Was a, 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 to have her share it with you, that was something unique. It was great because uh, I felt it was tough on her because that people were blaming her for my for my failures. I know that's part of it, part of media and part of sport, but it never really settled that well with me when the media blamed her. And when I wanted, to, I just you know I wanted to make a point to share it with her, you know, and to show everyone this is the person that kind of got me through a very tough stage in my career. And and that win as as rewarding or as meaningful yes. as any vindication right. against the whole world of tennis for myself. <laughs> yeah. I proved something that. Um, that I've always wanted to prove for a couple years, and uh, that was a big reason why I stopped because I really had nothing left to prove. And after I won that, I um, felt content, felt like, you know, w what's next, really? Did you think about retiring then? No. No. No, I just felt okay. like I was going to keep on going. Okay. You know, two <laughs> months after the Open, reality set in, getting ready for Australia and all, you know, getting in shape for that. And that's when I started thinking about what's next. And as time went on, missed Australia, missed a bunch of the summer tournaments in, in the States. I yeah. just wasn't into really practicing, and it's just hard for me to kind of get motivated. And I just figured, you know, see what, what happens when, when the big W comes around. And I start practicing for Wimbledon and um, didn't feel anything. Didn't feel like I wanted to practice. Didn't, didn't want to do the training. and didn't, My heart wasn't into it. And, and that's when I knew I was going to stop. It was about two months before Wimbledon. I just knew it was time. But, but the announcement didn't come until later, and we want to talk about that after the uh, 2002 U.S. Open, the remarkable finish. When we come back with uh, Pete, uh, he'll take us uh, back to the start and his uh, early days in tennis and then the final decision uh, of calling it quits. For